Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks so much for joining me today. Today I have a fun card using some visible image products. Um, so this is going to be a masculine card, or more a masculine card. It could be for a female as well. But um, I'm going to be using a cereal box for my card panel, and so I'll go ahead and show you that. But the stamp that I'm using, the main stamp that I'm using from Visible Image is called You're a Classic. It is an awesome stamp set. Um, this would be great. This is a birthday stamp set. It has birthday sentiments, but this would be a perfect uh, set as well for Valentine's cards or really all year round cards if you're having trouble finding something for a more of a masculine card. And I'm also going to be using a stamp set called Ink Splats. And so I started out, um, I wanted to use craft or make it more of a, of a vintage style. And I had some cereal boxes in my craft room. I was looking around my craft room. It is a mess. And I had a couple cereal boxes laying around because one day I'll use them for something, I'm sure. And I thought they would be perfect for the vintage style card that I wanted to create. So I went ahead and I cut it originally down to about five by seven. And um, I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of gold watercolor and splatter that as well as some black ink. Um, I went ahead and splattered that as well. And then I'm using this die from my stash just as a kind of to ground the background. Uh, but I did go over the background with a little bit of distress ink in um, frayed burlap. And then I'm taking this die, which I've doubled up and I've adhered that to the background. And then I'm going to go back over the background again using the frayed burlap as well as some vintage photo. So I'm just taking my blending brush and just blending that around to get more of that kind of vintage aged look. And then I will splatter a little bit more of the gold watercolor. And so I'll go ahead and set my background aside and start working on my image. And I went ahead and I stamped up my image in some VersaFine black ink. And since the ink stays wet for a bit, um, I went ahead and I took my heat tool to dry this because I'm fussy cutting it and I didn't want that ink to smear with my fingers um, when I was fussy cutting it. So I did go ahead and dry that before I fussy cut it. And then I'll go back over the image with some more of that vintage photo and frayed burlap. But this time I'm gonna use my finger daubers just to get a little bit of a more of a darker color. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over the whole image and then I will go over the um, edges as well. And then in the stamp set, there are uh, the kind of this little column of number numbers. And so I'm taking another piece of the cereal box and stamping those in some VersaFine black. And then again, uh, I will use the vintage photo and frayed burlap distress inks to um, dirty up that background a little bit. And then I'm just gonna cut a piece of that down and adhere the car to the top of it. And so I'm just gonna take a little bit of adhesive to the bottom of that image and adhere that right over the top of the numbers. Um, and you'll see in the background, I have a vellum tag that I created. Um, originally I wanted to go with that and I thought it was too dark. So I wanted there to be some color and I couldn't achieve that um, with the vellum. And so I end up using another tag, which is this. And so um, you'll see I went ahead and I used the ink blot stamp set to add some ink splotches around my card panel, um, which I did cut down a little bit. So it is closer to a four and a quarter by five and a half. It is slightly bigger, um, but I didn't like all that empty space around the outside. And so I did go ahead and trim that down. And then I'm going to take a manila tag and I am going over that with some distress ink and prize ribbon and chipped sapphire. And I'm just going to cover the entire tag with my blending brush first. And then to darken up that color a little bit, I use the finger daubers to go back over that. And then I will take my water bottle and spritz the tag with a little bit of water and then let that sit for about 10, 15 seconds and then take a paper towel and blot that up to get those water marks. And then to dress up the tag a little bit, I am going to take that number stamp again, as well as more of the ink blots. And so I just go over the entire tag with that. And then I will um, add a little bit of glue to the back of the tag. I didn't push the tag all the way down to adhere it at the top so that I could add a little bit of twine. I don't know why I didn't think to do that before I glued it, but I didn't. So um, I went ahead and pulled the twine through and tied that off. 
And then as you'll see, there is a lot of overhang on the tag. Um, I really struggled with trying to find the right amount of the background to show because I really liked it and I didn't want to cover it up too much, which why is why my original idea was to use vellum, um, but then I didn't get the color that I wanted. And so I just chose to go ahead and offset that tag a little bit um, and then trim that off so that there is a little bit of color, but there is a little bit of the background showing as well. Um, and then I'll go ahead and adhere that car image right on top of that. And then I was looking at my stash for different things to use, and I found this film strip. I, I don't know where I got it from. I, I've had it for quite a while, but I thought it worked perfectly with the vintage feel of this card. So um, I couldn't add adhe adhesive to it. I did add a piece of double-sided adhesive, and you could see through it. And so what I decided to do was I pulled up that car image, which was uh, adhered with uh, double-sided foam, and, and then I just chose to staple it at the bottom. And so it is a little bit lifted away from the card, which I'm fine with. My stapler, um, I didn't have the big one with me, and so I couldn't get it to staple all the way towards the middle of the card. So it just sticks up a little bit. And then I used the um, stamp sentiment that says, no matter your age, you'll always be a classic. I also added a little um, kind of decorative paper clip and that's going to finish off the card and my video for today um, i hope you liked if you did like it or find it informative please go ahead and give me a thumbs up as always i thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend with me and i hope to see you next time